Ever been stuck in a situation where you need cash and your debit card just isn't cutting it? Maybe you're at a charming little market that only accepts bills, or perhaps you want to surprise a friend with some physical birthday money. Whatever the reason, having access to cold, hard cash can be a lifesaver. Now, if you're a Starling Bank customer, you might be wondering, can I actually withdraw cash from my account? The answer, like most things in life, is a nuance that depends. But fear not, because in this video, we'll be diving deep into the world of Starling Bank withdrawals, exploring all the options available and ensuring you never get caught empty-handed again. So, let's break it down. Traditionally, withdrawing cash involved heading to an ATM and punching in your trusty pin. But Starling Bank, being the innovative challenger bank it is, focuses primarily on mobile app banking. That doesn't mean ATMs are completely out of the picture, but there are a few things to keep in mind. Firstly, Starling doesn't have its own dedicated ATM network. Instead, you'll be relying on the ATMs of other banks. Now, this might sound inconvenient, but the beauty lies in the fact that Starling doesn't charge any fees for using another bank's ATM. However, the ATM provider itself might have withdrawal fees, so be sure to check their terms before you get stuck with an unexpected charge. Secondly, and this is crucial, Starling imposes a daily withdrawal limit of £300 at ATMs. This means you can't just waltz up to any ATM and pull out a fortune. The limit applies to both domestic and international withdrawals, so if you're planning a trip abroad, keep this in mind for your travel budget. But what if you absolutely need more than £300 in cash? Here's where Starling's partnership with the post office comes in. Starling accounts allow you to withdraw cash directly over the counter at any post office branch across the UK. That's a whopping 11,500 branches at your disposal, giving you far greater access to cash than traditional banks with limited branches. Just like with ATMs, there's a daily limit for post office withdrawals. Again, it's £300 for personal and joint accounts. However, there's a slight catch. While Starling itself doesn't charge for post office withdrawals, business and sole trader accounts incur a 50p fee for this service. Now, you might be thinking, £300 seems a bit restrictive. That's a fair point. But here's the thing, Starling Bank excels in instant transfers. If you find yourself needing a larger sum of cash, you can easily transfer the money from your Starling account to another bank account that allows higher ATM withdrawal limits. This might involve a transfer fee depending on the recipient bank, but it offers more flexibility when you need a bigger cash injection. Here's a quick recap, ATMs, any bank's ATM will work, but there might be fees from the ATM provider itself. Daily withdrawal limit is £300. Post offices, convenient and widespread, with a £300 daily limit and a 50p fee for business accounts. Remember, these are all for withdrawals within the UK. Finally, a word to the wise, Starling prides itself on its security features. So, before you embark on a cash-grabbing adventure, make sure you have your Starling app set up with a strong pin and fingerprint or face recognition enabled for added security. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, stay informed and in control of your finances.